You see, the Nigerian-China relationship ought to be reviewed. If you had followed in the recent times all the Chinese-Nigerian relationship and agreements, you will have concern. Your telecom now, is, including you now, is controlled by China. Your transport is controlled by China. Your seaports are controlled by China. Your railways are controlled by China. How many Chinese are in Nigeria, you do not know. We have no record. What business and what do they do, you do not know. You are aware of what's happening in Africa, Zambia, Uganda, Kenya, all what not. It's Nigerian exception. Are we ready to be colonized again? Tell me. So that motion came at the proper time. What we are saying is, let us redefine this relationship so that we can balance it. So that we do not lose out. So we don't become slaves to anybody. So we don't become uh, uh, um, passing another colonial period <laughs> again. You, what independence do you have if you don't have economic independence, if you can't stand on your own? Let me ask you, uh, let me ask your panel. We also know Honorable, that at well, Just one moment. Let me ask you something, a quick follow-up on the question that you just raised now. Do you lay the blame or the, 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 do you lay the blame of not knowing the number of Chinese nationals in Nigeria on the Chinese or on our own systems? It cannot be on Chinese, on our system. The system is not efficient. The system is porous. There's no database. Can you go to America without them knowing you are India? No. How come you are in Niger the people are in Nigeria who don't know the number of persons in Nigeria and what they do? I do not blame Chinese. They came here, we admitted them, we allowed them. So we need to have records. We need to beef up. We should do what we ought to do. That's the word by diversion for what we're talking actually. So Nigerians should sit up. In fact, in Nigeria, you know as just as I also know that there are no records. I had a matter, I was gonna ask immigration, can you give me the status of this territory full of they had no idea. CAC had no idea at all about the company and all what not, what they do, the shareholdings. I mean, it is not good for our economy. It's not good for our person. That, that, that is why that be, uh, motion came up. And it went through. But coming back to what we are discussing on, on that bill, I still don't say we are not acting on propaganda. We are not based on argument or objections on propaganda. We are based on reality. Why will Nigeria even be the first to come rush up with such a bill to accept vaccination that is having controversy internationally, that will read a lot of postulations and inter uh, it, that is not propaganda. For me, I'm saying we should even be the last to adopt it, to go by it, more so that they're saying that the test will start from Africa with packages. In most recent times, which if we've propagated to this channel, most of the gifts have been tied to such things. I've seen channel should case such things that this gift this grant this aid when we talked about gay marriages and so on america threatened to withdraw aids if we don't buy into it you propagated it very well through your, your system here so because we need the money we should accept gay marriages so now we also also told some people are commercializing uh, vaccination to this so therefore we should rush buy into it now without understanding it i mean we should give time to elapse and they've not told us this vaccination that ncd can have power to put or give is for covid 19. we've not been told that we've been told that they have powers to stop uh, uh, um, diseases and control it and all whatnot like my colleague said you should expand it to have other medical station and other paramedical groups um, all right, just give us a moment become,